I'm going to show you in this video how you can paint yellow Megan Obama. I've always loved the Mega Knobs, they're one of the most iconic units in the Orc range, and loads of fun to paint, and they really let you show off your clan colours. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can paint yellow Mega Armour to represent the Bad Moons, or even just a clan of your own. These are the paints I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I started by building the Mega Knob in sub-assembled parts to make it easier to paint. I then stuck these to some cheap Jenga wooden blocks with some super glue, and now they're ready to undercoat. Whenever I'm painting yellow, I always like to use Wraith Bone Spray Undercoat. The yellow paint goes really well onto this spray and you get a bright vibrant yellow from it. My yellow of choice is obviously going to be Flash Kitsch Yellow, and I'm going to start by painting all the armour in this colour. To paint the first layer, I'm using a flat brush to make it easier and quicker. It's a good idea to thin your paints, and I like to use an equal amount of water for this. And before we start painting, just dab your brush on some kitchen paper just to remove some of the paint because we want a couple of thin layers. You want to keep your brush moving and avoid going over any areas you've already painted and then let the paint fully dry. It's better to paint a couple of thin layers and for the second layer I'm going to be using a normal brush. This is going to give you more control and a nicer finish and I can make sure I get all the areas I may have missed with a flat brush. I now want to start adding some interest and texture to the armour to make it feel more weathered and used. I'm going to start by giving the armour a dry brush of phalanx yellow. You want to work the paint into the brush and then get rid of most of it. You can do this using some kitchen paper. Moving your brush quickly back and forth over the armour, you want to move the brush against all the edges. This is going to help brighten and even out the yellow and create some texture on the flatter areas. Orcs aren't going to be able to keep the yellow armour looking very clean, so I'm now going to add some grime which is going to add some character to the armour. I'm using Reichland Flesh Shade diluted with Lamia Medium to create a glaze. You could use water instead if you wanted to, it's just going to give you a more uneven finish. This is looking a bit thin so I'm just going to add a little more Reichland Flesh Shade, you want an equal amount of both. I'm using the glaze around all the panels, and these want to be quite chunky. Work your way around the armour and the long flat panels I will just glaze the ends. We want to build up that grime some more, so this time I'm going to be using some Reichen Flesh Shade just as it is. And you want to work within that glaze that's already there going around all the panels again. You can even go in a third time depending on how strong you want the grime. Now is a good time to paint some of the other details of the armour, like the metals, wires and any of the gubbins you might see. For the metals I'm using Iron Hand Steel and Retributor Armour. I give the silver a wash of Norn Oil, leaving the gold metals for later. And once the wash is dried, I paint the other details like the stringy bits and wires. Now all the details are painted, I can use Agrax Earth Shade to wash all of these details together, including the gold I painted earlier. With the details painted and washed, we can now focus on finishing the yellow armour, and I'm going to start with a recessed shade of Agrax Earth Shade. A recessed shade is done by putting the wash directly into the areas you want to shade. You want to pick out all the panel lines, rivets and scratches. Try not to have too much on your brush for more control. After using all those washes, the armour might be looking a bit messy. So before I move on to the next step, I'm just going to be using some Flash Kitsch Yellow and clean up that yellow armour a bit. It's now time for everyone's favourite part, the highlights. And this should be pretty easy considering the armour is all straight edges. Using some Dawn Yellow, the best thing to do is dangle your brush against an edge you want to paint and run it along that edge to create the highlight. For places you can't do this, just take your time painting thin lines to create the highlight. And while you're at it, don't forget those rivets. Now we've finished the armour, we just need to paint the last few highlights. 
start by bringing the silver back up to the iron hand steel. Then highlight all the metal areas with Stormhouse Silver. The highlights for the stringy bits and wires. And to finish, I thin down some scrag brown and use it on some of the silver to give it a rusty look. The mega knob is now finished and hopefully you can see painting yellow isn't that scary. If you want to know how I paint the checkered patterns, you can watch my tutorial where I show you. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please like the video, it shows YouTube you enjoyed it and it'll be shared out to more people. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos and I'll see you in the next one.